Okay, I'm gonna talk about the sport. How I'm talk about sports DVD on com complete games on DVD. Now this is an important thing because I collected all every single World Series I think on DVD. There are some World Series where they never came out with a DVD, but they have they have single games that are part of packs. Um, you know, there's so many things to search online. I wouldn't know. Like I know I'm missing a few games from the World Series, but I don't know which ones to look for. So forget that. So I've been focusing on other things. I focused on a lot of football game, football games, the greatest games of football. I tried to buy a hockey one. I think I'm gonna try to do that again. See what happens with that, and go from there. I'm just gonna tell you right now, it's extremely expensive. If you try to buy baseball games on DVD or football games, they can be in the hundreds. They can go up to four or five hundred bucks a pop. One day, I found a really good deal for the Tigers World Series. This was a this was the most expensive one out of all the all of them right now. Probably still is. I found a good deal on it. Still a couple hundred dollars, a little more than that. I was able to find it. The problem is, is it shouldn't be like that. These DVDs should be a maximum of fifty, sixty dollars a piece. I don't understand why they're so expensive. Um, the last time I actually looked at a uh, an, an archive for one of these sports, like baseball or something. I saw ser a lot of World Series inside the archive, but it would, they didn't show all the games. Like, if you had a World Series, they would, sh like, say, for instance, this is an example. This is totally probably not true. They had the 2000 World Series. I'm not so sure if they had all five, five games in, in the 2000 World Series against the Mets. So, if you really, quality-wise... Here's the one thing you're going to learn. Quality-wise, with the World Series, it's not going to look any better on, um, what's it called? On, on sh streaming than it would on DVD. It's going to be basically the same thing because it's going to look so bad, I don't think you're going to be able to tell the difference. Even the, new, even the latest one they um, released pretty much till they canceled them now, we never had a 2023 World Series on Blu-ray. We're not going to have a 2024 because if they skipped last year, they're not going to do it anymore. Um, they're not, they've never looked good. They've always skipped out on everything the quality-wise. And, and, you know, I know the cable broadcast is not good, but yeah, it should look better. Um, the football ones, I why do I buy football if I'm, I'm not a football fan at all, really? I'm, I don't really like football that much. I love listening to John Madden, and, you know, sometimes you catch John Madden games, depending what year they played. Even then, the older football announcers were really good compared to now. Excuse me. Now what we do is we hire current sports people that have no broadcasting experience at all, and they're given the job. That's bullshit. People work their whole lives to be a broadcaster, and they have to sit and wait on the side because some famous guy just retired from being a quarterback or something. And now they get to do be in the spotlight. That's exactly what Tom Brady's doing. I'm not trying to hate him. I'm just saying the truth. He got a huge broadcasting job. It was tons of millions of dollars. And the next person in line, which is 10 times more qualified to be a broadcaster or an analyst or whatever they call it for him, and they can't get the job because he's famous. That's just not right. All right, so DVD. Um, so I have I have some basketball, but that's all only for the Celtics. I have nothing for hockey. I'm trying to get the Penguins one again because I took that one that one, took that one back. I have. I have a lot of baseball and it's some football, and that's about it. And I really, you know, I gotta tell you, I really enjoy it. I found a couple of DVDs at the dollar store that had old games on them for the Chicago Bears, I think it was. It had like three or four games on it. But you know, at the end of the day, uh, anything from the Dollar Tree sucks. I mean, if they're gonna sell you something, you know it's not gonna be too good. I have a bucket of DVDs from the Dollar Tree. And I'm, it's been over a, a couple of months since I've actually really bought anything from them. Everything is usually garbage. If I did buy something from them, it was only like one or two DVDs. And they're even going up on price. $1.25 now. Like, how much more money are they going to make if nobody buys a anything from them? What I think what they should do 
is they should start reselling these DVDs again and reprinting them, making them in the machines, whatever, and sell them to collectors. You'd still make some money, do an on-demand type of thing. Doesn't have to have the same discs or cases, but give them the opportunity to what you know. All right, bye bye.